Hey maker, you already know that you're supposed to be resizing your product photos for Etsy before uploading them to the listing, but you're confused. What does resizing actually mean? If you head to the Etsy seller handbook and check out Etsy's recommendation for resizing product photos, you more than likely have questions. Etsy says, the recommended size for listing images is 2000 pixels for the shortest side of the image and a resolution of 72 PPI. Images larger than one megabyte in file size may not finish uploading, especially on a slower internet connection. Etsy also states the first photo in the listing should be horizontal or square. But then further down, they say to avoid square crops and use an aspect ratio of 4-3. Etsy isn't speaking your language and they frequently contradict themselves when it comes to their recommendation. No wonder as a non-photographer maker, you're feeling confused. Follow along with me in this video as I explain what resizing is and why it matters. If this is your first time joining me, my name is Christina Nicole, and I'm a product photography coach teaching makers like you how to take your own high quality product photos that actually attract more customers and make more sales for your product based business. Depending on the camera you have and how you use it, your camera is going to produce an image that has a defined shape. This is called the aspect ratio. Your image will also contain a certain number of pixels with a specific file size. Take the 12 megapixel iPhone for example. When shooting vertically, also referred to as portrait, the iPhone will produce an image with an aspect ratio of 3-4 with pixel dimensions of 3024 by 4032 and a file size of approximately 2 megabytes. When shooting horizontally, also referred to as landscape, the iPhone will produce an image with an aspect ratio of 4-3 with pixel dimensions of 4,032 by 3,024 and a file size of approximately two megabytes. What comes from your camera isn't always the right shape for the listing thumbnail and how Etsy displays it. When your image isn't the right shape, Etsy will crop from the center out, potentially resulting in your product getting cut out of that first thumbnail image. Resizing your images with my three-step process prior to uploading them to Etsy will not only guarantee that your product looks amazing in search, but it will ensure that your product photos load properly. Resizing is a three-step process. Step one of resizing is cropping to the proper aspect ratio. When you go to crop, you will choose the desired aspect ratio from a list of set ratios, or you may have to customize your dimensions. An aspect ratio is just the proportional relationship between the images width and height. Think of it as a very specific shape. Once you choose the desired aspect ratio, you will trim the image staying within the set proportion in a way that makes your product stand out. When you trim out part of the original image, you are removing pixels, which leads us into step two. Step two of resizing is reducing the pixel dimensions. Images are made up of millions of pixels that we typically can't see unless we zoom in. These pixels are little boxes of data. The more pixels we have, the more data we have, which means a larger file size and better resolution. All this is great if we want to enlarge our images for print, but not so great when we want to use them online. Large file sizes can make sites run slow. So in step two of a resizing, you're going to reduce 
the pixel dimensions to meet platform recommendations. When we reduce the number of pixels, we are also reducing the amount of data the photo has. By removing data, we are reducing the image's file size, but sometimes that isn't enough. Step three of resizing is reducing the image's file size. This just means we're going to compress the image to make the file a little smaller. Keep in mind, all three of these steps do correlate. When you crop, you are reducing pixels, which in turn reduces the file size. But that typically isn't enough. So we have to address each step to make sure we're meeting Etsy's recommendation. And at the time of me recording this video, here is what Etsy recommends. Etsy recommends you upload your images in a horizontal, also called landscape orientation, meaning your image will have more width than height. Next, Etsy recommends a 4-3 aspect ratio. Again, an aspect ratio is just the proportional relationship between the images width and height, and you set this in editing under the crop tool. So for every four units of width, there will be three units of height at a 4-3 aspect ratio. Next, Etsy recommends the pixels be 2,000 on the shortest side. So at a 4-3 aspect ratio, the shortest side is the height resulting in pixel dimensions being 2,667 by 2,000 pixels. Etsy states, images larger than one megabyte in file size may not finish uploading, especially on slower internet connections. So they recommend your image file size be under one megabyte. Etsy also states, make sure your thumbnail images have enough of a border that they can be cropped to a square thumbnail without losing some of the product. The gold overlay on this image represents how Etsy would crop this image to a square from the center out. Now, most editing softwares are gonna function pretty similarly when it comes to resizing. But here on my channel, I already have videos showing you step-by-step -step how to resize in Snapseed, Photoshop Elements, Affinity Photo, Apple's native photo app on Mac, iPicky and Canva. And I'll link all of those videos in the description below. In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to resize in Photoshop. Let's go. Now that we are inside of Photoshop, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you make any edits to the photo that you want in regards to exposure, color, all the things. We're gonna save resizing for last and we're going to work through the three step process. So step one is cropping the photo to the proper aspect ratio. So on the left hand side here, you will see the crop tool. This is what it looks like. If you select that, you're gonna see all this information pop up on the top. This portion here has preset aspect ratios already put in to Photoshop. However, we do not have a 4-3 aspect ratio. So if you don't see the aspect ratio you need, all you do is come over here, type in four, tab over and type in three. Now this image is already a 4-3 aspect ratio, but I wanna frame the product a little tighter to put more focus on it. So I'm gonna go in, grab the corner, make it smaller and then hit enter. That is step one of resizing. We're making sure the photo is going to be the proper shape for Etsy. Now, Etsy does display your images in three different aspect ratios, 4-3, 5-4, and square. My recommendation is 4-3 because it's the most versatile while keeping your product in that center square crop. Now, for us to accomplish step two and step three of resizing, we actually have to go to export the photo. So we're going to go to file, choose export and export as, or you can do save for the web. Either option will work. Once we're in here, you'll see that the format is a JPEG. 
Our quality right now is at a six. We can go up to a seven. But at a seven, you'll notice that we're at 4.1 megabytes in file size. Well, first, let's go ahead and adjust these pixel dimensions. So Etsy states that you want your pixel dimensions to be 2000 on the shortest side. Well, the shortest side, because we're doing landscape per their recommendation, is going to be the height. Now, since we've already set the aspect ratio, the proportion, so the 4-3 between width and height, is going to automatically adjust. So we're going to hit 2000 for the height. And at a 4-3 aspect ratio, it did go ahead and automatically adjust there. I did not have to type it in. Typically, that's going to be about 2666 or 2667. So that was step two of resizing. Now, you will notice that when we adjusted the pixel dimensions, when we removed pixels, the file size went from, was it 4.1 down to 2.1 megabytes. That's still too large of a file size. Etsy recommends under one megabyte. So what we're going to do is go here to quality. This is step three of resizing. And we're going to just take it a notch down at a time and see where we get. And six is going to be perfect. We want under one megabyte. We are now at 802 kilobytes. And then you're just going to hit export. It's that simple. Please take the time to like this video if you found it useful. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more about taking your own high quality product photos. See you next time.